what is up you guys and today we will be placing Diagon Alley here. Now I know that we've waited a very long time to place Diagon Alley. I had done my speed build and well we're finally done. I, mean, I was done a long time ago but I had other things and recently I watched Thor and I'm go and I also made some new custom sets so make sure to check those videos out. I'll probably make them tomorrow and upload them by I don't know, the, the day after maybe. So make sure to check those things out. And well, <clears throat> this is where we will be placing our Diagon Alley. We got Hedgewig over here to reserve the spot. And there's a bunch of minifigures. I don't know, I just thought that a clear space would be a good place to place minifigures. But enough of that. So we are going to take all these down, including Hedgewig. Now we will be putting Dion Alley here. And I recently got all of the Harry Potter castles from 2021. And I just sort of combined them all with one custom thing over here. It's this chest scene that I made. And it's basically the same build sort of technique as this. So uh, that's all. <clears throat> and we've got the great hall we've got the bathroom the lure law cards defense against the dark arts you got Hermione the cat in the hit in her polyjuice potion you got pixie there in the jewelry law cards room you got the fluffy encounter set with my custom modular and then the flying lesson set so that's all we got the basilisk the chamber of secrets and all the golden minifigures well not all technically not all of them but these were all the ones all the ones that came with the castle that came out in 2021 so and that's all and now let's place the diagon alley over here so we've cleaned this whole space and yes there's a little dust but yeah i think yeah i really like open space over here and well to place Diagon Alley, we will be having to move, remove this. And don't worry, I'm not going to remove this permanently. I'm just going to find a new home on the other side. But for now, we will be placing this on the ground temporarily. So we're going to take that out. We've got even more open space, which is nice. So let's place the Diagon Alley right now. But to put Diagon Alley here, we will need to move the Pirates of the Barracudas Bay because Weasley's Wizard Weasley is pretty high and it would clash with this sort of guy. So we will be taking the half of the Pirates of the Barracudas Bay down and then we'll be putting Diagon Alley right over here. So I have all the options of interrogating and stuff. I have decided to display my Diagon Alley like this. So we got a stair, I'm just gonna put it down because there's a lot of room over here. And in the inside, I think this is my favorite way to put Diagon Alley here because if you see it from over here, it actually looks good. It actually looks like a real Diagon Alley, just like in the movie. So I'm going to leave it over here for now. And well, we need to figure out where the waterfall is gonna go. So let's go to that, but before we go to that, I actually have some of my 2021 Harry Potter advanced calendar things. So we're going to just, you know, mix around and put things here and there. So, see ya. Now, this is my bag of, at, of the Harry Potter 2021 advent calendars. And, man, is this a mix. And there's this little mock car i made i don't know i, just, I don't know why i just put it in here oh look we got a go goblin at green gods the vault from green gods yeah there's lots of cool things in here so we're just gonna dump them out so we're just gonna put this on the ground oh, oh we got platform nine and three course and i don't exactly have the base because i used it on a mock so you're going to put the base back on 
like this. I think we are going definitely going to include that. This is where Harry Potter gets his letter, so not going to include that. Now look, it's where it's where the goblins work. There's the vault. There's the goblin. I forgot his name. The gremlin, was it or something else? Yeah, I forgot. But if you do know, then please comment down below. I believe this is the goblin that took Harry Potter to his vault in Sorcerer's Stone. I don't know why. It's very iconic, and I don't know why, but I just forgot. We got the leaky cauldron, which I'm definitely gonna put in there too. We also got Harry's trunk for going to platform nine and three quarters. There's this book that he carries, and inside is just this paper. And over here, I've got it more. Well, that's it, and we are going to try to inter put these over here i have found the mine train thing that the goblins ride on so woohoo lucky for me i got one more extra so we are going to put the leaky cauldron right over here the hogwarts express nine and three quarters platform nine three quarters sign i don't know why i just put it over here oops well that went wrong Goes like this. And I don't know, I think I'll just in just include the goblin. Yeah. This is difficult. I'm going to push this out just a little bit. Put the goblin right over there. I'm just going to put him over here, more close to all the people. And we are going to move this back into place. Like that. You want this up back. And put the leaky color sign back. And over here, yeah, I'm not sure how I should do this. Now, I'm going to put it right over here next to platform nine three quarters. And these are going to be tough. What are we going to do with these? Just then, well, I can't really do anything because I am not planning to make a custom green gods anytime soon. So I will temporarily, I don't know. I'll temporarily do something over here. Now I'm just going to put all the green god stuff down here. And I'll put these, this over here. And well, that's all. So now we've got everything in Diagon Alley. Except for one more thing. Oh yeah, I forgot these two. We got Welcome Harry to Diagon Alley, Rubius Hagrid. This sign over here. I'm gonna put it right on the top. And as for Harry, I can do this little pose. So he can grab onto the cart like this. And it says, this is not platform 9 3 quarter. I'm going to put him right over here like that. Yeah, I think that's perfect. And one more thing, this is a love potion. And Weasley's wizard wheezes. So, try to see if my hand can squeeze in. Nope, it fell. Epic mistake. Put all these back up here. And then we are just going to 
play over here. Love Potion. Play all back. And these back. So like this. And that is all now. Now let's really put the waterfall in its in its place. This is of course my home alone part and the place we are going to put the waterfall is right next to it because I have same height bookshelves. And well they're both in Jaws on each side, yeah. And this part is a work in progress because I'm just going to put like a, a small beach because I think I like it where there's gaps in between. It makes each one get its sort of look how big and awesome it is. So that's that. And one thing that I didn't do with the video is actually this part. Yes, this is new. So I recently, no not recently, last year I actually got... At Christmas, I got the treehouse, which looks awesome. So we are going to put the waterfall in here. And there's 50-50 chance I might get the Saint the Saint Torn, but yeah, I yeah, we will be ready for the Saint the Saint Torn, so we are just going to pretend the police station is the Saint the Saint Torn, man. We will just Ma pretend this is a corner building and put it where the sink and sink torn will go and sadly the police station will find a new home when the sink sink torn arrives so let's move the treehouse with the waterfall so we've got the waterfall so this is where its new home is going to be but we are going to have to rearrange a few things like we remove these flowers and I don't know, I might make the stream come this way, or I might just leave it over there. But right now, I'm satisfied on how this looks like. I might want to move the picnic table this way, and maybe put... Maybe I should make it curve just a little bit like this, and put a camping van over here, because I actually got one. And other than that, I'm satisfied on how and where this play, this is, and... The back side, I might have to make a little close off the rockiness. But right now, I think this is pretty decent, so now let's move around these. I moved all the buildings down except for these two because I'm going to put the Birch Bookstore next to the St. St. Torm because the St. St. Torm second level, or in this particular Lego set, is second plus third level. It's this color of brown, so we are going to put that over here. I'm going to have to be, be a little more careful with the daily bugle like this. And then put the books over here. And then I am planning on putting the bugle right over here. And we are going to put Birch Bookstore here. And if Birch Bookstore goes all the way in, we are going to put this all the way in like this. And we are going to put the Daily Beagle all the way here. It's a little riggedy, but it's just two, a two stud space. Don't won't really make a big dif difference. We are going to put the future Saint Saint Torm over here, but for now we will be calling we will be putting the police station here. And then as for the back, I have special plans. So we have this. Got the bookstore in the back. So over here in the back, we will put these plates, which I recently got. I think they fit well. And we got this little space over here, which I'm not sure, I might put the French restaurant here, or maybe we could do a little more switch around things. 
But for right now, we're going to play over here. And let me see what other things I could do over here. So we have this. You got this open back area over here. And I think this is pretty cool. I might put, yeah, I am going to, you know, I'm not sure. Maybe you could switch around. Maybe you could put the Sanctum here, the Birch Bookstore here, and make these two tiles screw with another tile. And as for the police station, still gone. But for right now, this looks pretty decent. It looks, I think it's okay for waiting for one month for the Sanctum But it's hollow, so we are going to have little sort of party theme over here we're going to put all the vending machine and some cars over here and well that's pretty much it and we might put our doctor strange mock over here or the the blacksmith is too small to fit here so let's see what we can fit here so just for fun, I did place our Dr. Strange mock over here, and it, I don't know, it just looks off topic. So we are not going to put the Dr. Strange mock here. But let's see what kind of other things we could fit here. We could put cars, we could make little parties go going on in there. So we have endless possibilities. So, but we are going to remove this, and let's see what we've got. So this is what we have so far. And we'll be adding more colorful things, more party-like, maybe a stage for people to perform on. But this is what we have so far. And I think it's really, really neat that I can see the back of Daily Bugle. Now I can see the fight between Venom, Miles Morales, and Spider-Ham, or Spider-Pig. And it's just so open, and I like the color scheme from gray to this this shade of green, from dark green to this shade of green, green again. I think it's pretty cool. And then the waterfall. I think we did a good job on the waterfall, too. As for Diagon Alley, I think it fits in perfectly. I love where it is. And hopefully we figure out what to do with these green... Green got sort of things, and we will be doing many things over here with Ninjago City. And then maybe we could put a temple over here and one more base plate or a monkey kit set, something like that. So I hope that things turn out great in the near future. So thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if and I also make this new channel, which is this channel right over here. And yes, my life isn't completely Lego. I also do well things. I also do art. I also do many things. So you should check out this art channel right over here. And I hope you love this. So far, I post only one video. But I hope you guys learn how to do how to draw them, the minions, and well. And that's all for today and thank you for thank you so much for you guys watching and we will have more upgrades in the harry potter section and we will be getting the saint to saint tour anytime soon and we're going to improve the sort of parking in the alleyway behind the daily view and the police station and we should check out those videos in the future so hope you have a good one